Kansas City Chiefs taking on Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans. It is perhaps the best home field advantage in all of football and certainly the loudest as we welcome you inside Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Houston Texans. The wait is finally over. Brandon Gunn, Charles Davis here in the start of a new NFL season, and we kick it off with a bang on Thursday night. What's interesting about these Thursday night games is oftentimes we hear people say, is it really fair for players to play on Thursday night? But what did we hear from both of these teams going into this one? How excited they were to have the spotlight on their teams, their franchises, the rest of the league watching them go at it. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Out now comes two-time Pro Bowler Deshaun Watson in his fourth year now in the league as he gets set to operate this Houston Texans offense. When we talk about the best dual quarterbacks in the NFL, don't leave Deshaun Watson out of the conversation. Two straight years, he's been a Pro Bowler. Excellent numbers again last season with 26 touchdown passes, seven more added on the ground, and firm leadership and control of this Houston Texans team. Now he's looking forward to taking the next step and beating Patrick Mahomes and Lamar Jackson in the playoffs and getting the Houston Texans to a Super Bowl. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Watson to give. This is Johnson. And they worked this well upfield across the 45. 22 yards there, a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. Now Watson. And this would complete to Will Fuller. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. That's Stills bringing it in. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 34-yard line. And those linemen, of course, can't be more than a yard downfield when a pass is thrown, and they might have been able to call that on a couple of guys there. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Still a couple of yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Three-yard gain on the play. He'll try and run for it. Johnson. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. Boy, that what you want to see in quarter one of the new year. We'll be back. They'll fake the handoff. Now Watson. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. The KC offense set to go, led as always by the gunslinger, a former MVP in this league. It's Patrick Mahomes. Well, partner, normally if a guy's touchdown passes fall in half, the first thing you'd say is he really didn't have a very good season, did he? Well, it's true. Mahomes dropped from 50 touchdown passes the year before to just 26 last year. But remember, he had a knee injury and missed a few ball games, and he still remained in the conversation as the best quarterback in the NFL. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. And this is caught by Watkins. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Options galore here, second and a few inches. And inches at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Mahomes. Again, that's Watkins. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one a first down pickup of eight. Carry now. This is Williams. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. And we're at the 41, second and nine. Go. Go. Work 
looking from the gun. Mahomes. And it's complete. It's Damian Williams. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10 yard line. That's good. We're on Kansas. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield, instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time when they check it down, and that'll be caught. Touchdown, Kansas City, Demarcus Robinson. Touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, th that's the right, that's the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on, third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. On the move to his left. And that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there's good coverage there that forced the incompletion. First and 10 at the 33. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This is caught by Robinson. And he'll go down at the 28. Complete to Demarcus Robinson. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 28-yard On second down, Williams. And he'll get about four as he's brought down at the 24. Damian Williams, the Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Fourth down. Butker's kick here is good, and that will make it 10 0 here in the first. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Take over first down. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? And turnover, you just noted it. Punt's on the better. Drive. Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. Yards. First down, Houston. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. 10, Texans nothing. A first down carry here for Johnson. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Frank Clark, there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Second and seven. From the 39, Watson. He's got his tight end. It's Fells. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 22 yards there, a first down. First down. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. Now this one over the middle into the hands of his tight end complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Brings up second. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now a handoff. Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. 
Ben Nemo. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Yeah, boy, from up here, I don't think Johnson got there. No, he did not. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Maybe I'm wrong, but it looked like even if he had opted to keep that, I don't think there was going to be much to gain. Seemed like it was perfectly defense. You know what they say? Those guys on the other side, they get paid, too. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play make sure you focus just a little bit extra it didn't pay off in that situation and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down give him 14 on that one and a first down first and 10 at the now a first down carry it's williams and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down bernard Drake mckinney no gain on the play it'll be second down no gain on the play brings up second and 10 at the 46-yard line. We remind you that coming up at the half, we'll hand things off to Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll have scores from earlier today, plus a look ahead as well, so you won't want to miss that. A lot going on here in week one. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 41-yard line. Mahomes now on first down. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. It's a pickup of six. From the 35, back to work on second and four. 35-yard line. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. Forced out to his left. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for him. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Shotgun snap to the homes. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. No gain on the play. And what to do now on fourth and goal. And 18. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Butker's kick here is good. The wait up now, a flag is down. If this is on the defense, they're going to get the first. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Now the return. Here comes Randall Cobb. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. Watson now to throw. 
He's letting this one go for Fuller. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. So we have reached halftime here in the Thursday night opener as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, good to get another season underway. We'll get back to you guys for the second half of the season opener. But first, let's take a look at what's still to come here in the opening weekend of the NFL season. In the early window, we'll have our eye on that game in Jacksonville. The Jaguars going to need to be on their A game as they'll take on the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Good games in the late afternoon as well. One being out in Santa Clara, where it'll be the 49ers taking on the Arizona Cardinals. And lastly, we'll wrap up the week with Monday Night Football. Definitely one to tune in for, as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back-and-forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. This is unbelievable. Well, that holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. But that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. But quickly to Kelsey. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. I know it's a little bit of a cliche to talk about all the tight ends who are really wide receivers in the NFL, but Travis Kelsey fits that perfectly. He led all tight ends last season with over 1,200 yards receiving, fourth in the NFL. I think he's one of the gold standards in the league for the tight end position, and I don't know if anyone has any more fun playing the game than Travis Kelsey. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Mahomes going to throw. It's Kelsey on the ground. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. First and 10. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory, right at the 40. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That one complete to Hill. Three yards the game there, second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. That catch good for five. It's third down. It's a gain of five. Brings up third and down the homes on the bootleg. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking that all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Damian Williams, 31 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical, as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First down yeah. at their own 20. Our game here at Arrowhead, the first of some great matchups here in week one. You've got Miami and New England in year one after TV. And you've got the first ever Las Vegas Raider game as they travel to Carolina. You've got the aforementioned Mr. Brady and his Buccaneers taking on New Orleans. And then, of course, the debut at SoFi Stadium Sunday night. How about this for an opener? The Dallas Cowboys and the L.A. Rams. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it a second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 
And now the throw going to Fuller, and he's got it. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. Texans. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long gain or make people miss downfield they've got to have points and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone they're the ones that need to touch the ball and he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackles made at the Chiefs 34 yard line Deshaun Watson so multi-dimensional able to scramble for the first sometimes guys get locked into such a groove what do we call it the game slowing down they see everything happening almost in slow motion they see the lanes develop I feel like he's right there well and you want this from your leader right with this deficit this stage of the game second half no quit in him zero he's got fuller and he gets this one inside the 15 just a yard or two shy of the 10. 23 yards on the play First down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Throwing again is Watson to the goal line, but it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. Let's take it a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get out. Got a man open. It's Fuller for the Texans touchdown. Touchdown. Will Fuller there to make the grab. And the Texans cut into that lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. Now on the return here, we've got an injured player down there. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. Brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Brings up third and one. One quarter remains here on this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Mahomes to throw on third and one. And it's complete to Kelsey. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Instead of a third and one run, they go pass and they get 12 yards out of it. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. On first down, Mahomes. That's complete to his tight end, Seals Jones. Three yards the gain there, second down. That uh, first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Mahomes firing complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. That one a first down pickup of eight. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 42-yard line. They complete it to Hill. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Looking for Kelsey on the deep ball. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the all-pro tight end, the intended receiver. Third down here. 
Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Steps away to his left. He's got the first. Mahomes hit. He lost the football. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans' 20-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Mahomes dropping one to Williams here. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Damian Williams, the man he was looking for. And now it's third down. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. And not even back to the line of scrimmage this time as they're on him quickly once more. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts. That's going to be their second. They'll be left with one more plus the two-minute warning. And we'll be back. Butker's kick here is good. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's dark close. The Texans take over first and 10. At their own 20. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Gotta love the catch. I think you gotta love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They've become a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. It's now second and So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. It's complete to Fuller. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. It's a gain of 34. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about the big plays. Let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. Throwing again. Watson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to draw that one free. Throwing on third down, Watson. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And now in a nine-point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. As this gets them back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. A drive that time of six plays. And the result, a Houston touchdown. Kaimi Fairbairn to kick off for Houston. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive. Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. Most don't want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Yeah, he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. So here we go, Charles, third down. Any chance you're throwing? I don't think so. I think you got to keep the clock rolling here. And indeed, they will keep it on the ground. 
And he will have a first down here at about the 30. It's a gain of seven. First down, Kansas City. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. this when everyone was excited that football was back. It is just special. You could just feel it. It's so good to have the pigskin back out there. It'll be crisp fall weather before we know it. You got that right, but I love the build up to it, right? All day long anticipating it. And then we got here and we saw a game, the first game of the year. Let's keep going. So for Kansas City, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take on the Los Angeles Chargers. Meanwhile, for the Texans, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be at home for one next week as the Baltimore Ravens come to town. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.